You excited, dear? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Chloe and I are going out for our first ride together of the season. And uh, we're definitely getting a late start here. I always forget how long it takes women to get ready. I was ready before you. <laughs> you were on the couch and I was ready to go. It was pretty stormy this morning, snowing hard, and I looked up at the cameras on top of the mountain and it just looked like absolutely no visibility. So wasn't in wasn't in much of a rush to get up there, but it's kind of cleared. Sun's almost poking through the clouds a bit, so should be decent up there. I like his winter front. State of the art. Trunk. For some reason, Chloe doesn't want to run a finger throttle, so we're swapping it around to the thumb throttle. Audio testing. Ready, team? <laughs> Off we go up Boulder Mountain here. It's great to be back. Wow, the river is real frozen here. And it's been cold. But uh, yeah, Chloe and I are going up here today. Do a quick hot lap. See what the snow's like. We got, I think around six inches of snow last night, but the freezing rain a little bit, I think, in the valley here. So we'll see if it did that up top as well. I'm thinking no, but we'll find out. And hopefully we got the GoPro set up dialed today. We already, we lost, we lost Chloe. Big holes. Big hole. Big hole, big hole. Oh, we found the culprit of the big holes. Following their kid up the mountain. Like today, I mean, I haven't gone off trail at all, but just feeling more natural and comfortable today. First day out, you always just feel kind of awkward, I guess. For me, anyway. the alders are like usually you kind of be able to ride through all this alders are willows whatever people want to call them but they're thick need some wet heavy snow to bend them over where did Chloe go oh oh I hear the sled making some beeping dear you're overheating the snowmobile I just totally dusted her. So we're getting kind of high up here now, and the snow is definitely pretty heavy.
I've attracted a little ratchet there. But that's not the sound it was making the other day. Um, that's just because the snow is heavy. <laughs> a little airbag deployment. I think I'd pack it away and put it in my bag. Just stay on the trail up to the cabin. I gotta have a little bit of fun, right? Good now. Can't believe how fast it stretched out. <laughs> Does Chloe remember where the cabin is? Not really. <laughs> Let's see what she does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, there's the cabin. Wow. Only four feet of snow on the snow stick. Crazy. I've never seen this many stairs to get into the cabin. Something we got today is the tool kit, which I forgot the other day, luckily. So we can tighten our track up already. Good luck. It's pretty loose. It's only like 40 kilometers on the sled. Oh God, that's tight. What? Bit of a wimp. Kind of weak. We'll do four even turns on each side. Still looks loose, so we'll do another three. That's better, I think. We'll also check the chain case. We did the other day, tightened it up halfway through the day, and it was quite loose. I've heard uh, the chain stretch a lot on these. Yeah, that's, that's snug. So we only did probably a full turn and a half, maybe two, considering the sled only has like 40, 50 K on it and I've already tightened it once. It's kind of loose. So if you got a new sled, make sure to tighten up your chain as you're going. So make sure to tighten your axle bolt back up after you tighten your track. I've done it before where I tightened my track and totally forgot to tighten it up. Chloe and I are just going to go in the trees in here through some single track to hopefully a more kind of open face where I can have her film me for a minute. Hopefully we don't get stuck too much because it is, uh, is definitely deep for a 146. You hold on to the handlebars and you pull and throttle at the same time. Keep going! That's was, that was perfect. <laughs> but I want a two up. You want a two up? Okay. All right, hop on, squirrel. Let's see how well I do this. <laughs> see how much we can bang heads? I do.
Are you okay? What? Okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> we're in the spot here where I uh, rode the players first day last year. That was a terrible track ratchet. I guess I didn't tighten it quite enough. say I'm exhausted the sled friggin rips and the snow is great in here what do you say color let's get out her let's get out her You find that impressive? Yeah. I'm glad you. I, I, I'm glad I impressed you. Would you rather just turn around and start going all the way up to the top through the moguls? Yeah. yeah okay. First day, anyway. Yeah. No problem. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty content on the sled for the day as well. Really got to give it. Oh, it probably would have logged out right there, but wow, so much heavy. But yeah, we really got to give her on the sled. We could have got a little more loud, but had a fun day. Feeling a lot more at home. Working the kinks out, the sled's working good. I'm starting to work good. And it was a good day. It's best that I don't push Chloe too hard either. She she uh, gets really tired after a couple hours, and especially her neck wearing a helmet. She had bad scoliosis when she was younger where she had to have surgery and they put a metal rod up her whole spine. So it's best we kind of just call it quits when she gets tired. Otherwise I end up just pushing her a little too hard where it becomes unenjoyable. Which I've had to learn over time. Oh shit! Moose! One antler. Except he's never going to get off the trail. So. When you run into a moose on the trail, just let them run for like five minutes and then uh, hopefully he gets off the trail somewhere. <laughs> Do you see the moose? Driving? I love this. 41. 41. Total. 21 today. Yeah. 